environment na surrounding na mata sana katika development. Unajua kule mtaani tulikuwa na shida moja. Okay. Na hiyo shida ambayo ndio shida ningependa sana kuongelesha watu wote wako mitaani. Mm-hmm. We are always very negative. Yaani kila wakati tunaamini hatuwezi toboa. Okay. Yaani mtu atakwambia ndio utoboe oh, labda ukaide, mm-hmm. oh, labda utafuta sijui sugar mami oh, labda ukafanya biashara mbaya okay. ama sijui inge Illuminati. Yaani hizo ndio zile akili ziko kule. Mm-hmm. But I want to tell you Mwenyezi Mungu anatupa the same oxygen. Tunavuta hewa sawa na yule tajiri na yule maskini. Okay. Mwenyezi Mungu ametupatia the same time. Kama mfano mniuliza kwa nini nimenunua saa daikani? Milioni tano. Siri ni saa. Tunatofautiana sababu ya sana tunavyotumia saa. Mimi na value saa sana. Kwa sababu it is timing. Vile unafanya timing yako ndio utajitamini wapi utafika maisha. Ni kweli juu maisha ameingia hapa 30 minutes before time. Mimi lakini si simu yangu inaniambia tu saa, sasa hii simu yangu inaniambia ni saa saa kumi na karobaini na mbili jamaa. Simu yangu inaniambia saa jamaa. Ni kweli. Hiyo inakuambia lakini kuna hiyo attraction. Okay. Mfano mtu anazauliza kwa nini ununue something hiyo very expensive ama nini? Ni kupatia kitu value. I want to tell you leo hii ukiingia kwa mkutano yoyote uh-huh. umepiga hiyo suti hata isiwe bei kali sana lakini suti ambayo imejikubali. Mm. Uh-huh. Pia umeipiga kiwi imengara vizuri sana. Uh-huh. Let me tell you will perform better than wakati umevaa na we mwenyewe hujiamini. Kwa nini wewe kwa choo yako au bafu uko na kio? You in the check is something good. Alafu. Okay. <laughs> Alafu. Na maisha inaanza na kuji appreciate. Let me tell you how uh-huh. appreciate mtu kama we mwenyewe hauji appreciate. Tuache kujidanganya. Kwa hivyo your first appearance, your personality. Mimi sita kudanganya nimepata biashara mingi sana kupitia kitu simple kama saa au viatu. Yaani mtu kaona nimevaa saa na fulani, kaniweka level fulani na basi kanipa biashara kubwa. Steve right now. Mm-hmm. Kwanza such a humble background, okay? Mm-hmm. Um uka kukaenda China kufanya biashara sio? Eh wakati huo nilikuwa naleta mizigo. Mm-hmm. Nakumbuka vizuri sana was among the first Kenyans kuleta zile simu za China, zile twin sim. Yeah, Wajua kila mtu alikuwa anataka kuingia katika digital phones. Mm-hmm. But people didn't have the money. Wakati huo Nokia wakitoa ile Motorola Flip, you know, those phones were going for 50, 60, 70,000. Right? Watu wa mitaani hawangetoboa. Sasa mimi nakumbuka first time nikwenda China and I went alone. Nilipata mtihani wiki nzima ndio nipate mtu wa kufanya interpretation sababu wakati huo wa China hawakuwa naongea English. True. Sasa ingelikuwa ni I want many many pieces same 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 same. Hiyo ndio lugha ya China. How many pieces? Five pieces same same. Okay. Umeelewa? No, this one, not that one, this yes. one. Okay. Paka kidogo ikabidi nikajifunza Mandarin yani kichina kidogo kidogo kidogo. Mm-hmm. But nikaona opportunity. Ya kwamba vipi? Ah ah watu wamevumbua simu na biraisi. Na hii simu inaingia simu card mbili. Hii simu ina redio. Hii simu Kwa zaidi kwa TV. Na TV. Okay. Hapo nilikuwa Gwanzu. Wewe? Nikaangalia kwenye market tu. Nikaona bwana hii opportunity. Watu wanapenda simu lakini hawana hela. So I first, I first brought the first 100 pieces. Mimi nakwambia mm. nilipofika airport. Na unajua nimebeba hand luggage. Okay. Pieces 100. Mm-hmm. Nikampigia mwindi mmoja alizifata airport. Yeye ndiye alikuja kunichukua, kunipokea. Zote zikaenda. Zote akanunua. Sasa China wakati huo, okay. mimi nauza moja kama shilingi 12,000. Sawa? Uh-huh. Yeye instant pale akauza 25, 26,000 and it took him 2 to 3 days anauza. Na anauza wholesale. Yule mwingine anashika ikiingia River Road hapa uh-huh. ama Moyaven ilikuwa inauzwa 30, 35. Where? So you can imagine ni ile opportunity unakuwa in between nimekuambia mfano nilipoanza na scrap yeah. siku na chuma siku na pesa ya kununua lakini Mwenyezi Mungu anipa kipawa ya kuongelesha na kujenga imani kwa watu Steve right now mm-hmm. kuna vijana wengi uh, first of all how long did it take you mm-hmm. to be where you are miaka mingapi miaka mingi wajua watu wengi wanaweza Steve Mbogo leo oh, labda na hii ama inasemekana na ile na ile wakafikiri ni mali ama ni kitu tulijenga jana I want to tell you mimi mtu mmoja nime struggle sana. Nilichukua muda kwa sababu leo hii leo hii huo mwaka ninaingia niko 32 years old. Mm-hmm. Biashara nimeanza nikiwa 16 years. That's half of my of your life. life. Yeah, sure. Nimekuwa na struggle na fight. Ndio unaona hamna siku moja ushaona namjibu mtu. Mimi natukana kila siku ushasikia najibizana. Lakini sasa kwa sababu sina hiyo wakati kwa sababu hawanielewi. Kuna vijana wengi sana na ndio mentality ambayo iko sasa hivi. Yes. Bana I want to make quick money. 
Pesa ya haraka jamani. Mimi siwezi hustle for 16 years na hustle jamani na hakuna kitu kinaingia. Mhm. Wacha nikueleze Chris maishani. I'm sure ukitembea kule starehe umekutana na watu vijana wengi sana. Wengi na naketi nao kila siku. Hata size mm-hmm. natoka hapa ninamkutana na vijana wangu hapa pangani. Mimi ni mtu wa mtaa. Okay. Mimi ni mtu wa watu, mm-hmm. makana watu. Tumetoka pale tunaelewa maisha ilivyo. Shida wa moja, mimi I have one principle. Mm-hmm. Na wale nimefanya nao biashara ama kazi wanajua. Mm-hmm. I never work for money. I work for success. Okay. Because money is one of the by products of success. Nikifanya biashara na wewe na akili yangu ni kuangalia pesa. Aka heshima kwako sitakuwa nayo. Sababu what I want is money. money. But you see when I focus on success, kumbuke pale ethics ni lazima nita observe, mm-hmm. nita observe urafiki, uhusiano na pia nitakuwa na long term goal sababu nitakuwa na jenga uhusiano ya milele. Na watu wanasahau ya kwamba at any time you successful money will be there sababu money ni baina ya byproducts ambazo ziko ndani ya success so young people of Kenya today tuache kuwa na hiyo mbio unaitaka leo leo systems ujengwa pole pole you build your networks mimi kilichonisaidia ni kusafiri nimekwambia nisafiri first trip yangu na hiyo 1.6 ndugu yangu nilia China sijui mtu lakini niketi kwenye ndege wakati yona ingia economy paka <laughs> guanzu we sababu nataka nielewe naona wa india hapa nikitembea moyave ni wanauza viatu 999 ukienda net shop wanauza 999.50 <laughs> lakini najiuliza watu hivi tu wanatoa wapi nasikia wanatoa china nikasema na mimi nitaenda hiyo china unakuja na bidhaa nikaleta masimu nikatoka nikaanza nikaleta mapikipiki i was the first person to bring in pikipiki hapa on hyper chase paka leo kuna watu wengi hawajanilipa watu wajui hiyo na si kazi yangu kutangazia raia that's the problem still kwa sababu wote kwa kweli ni moja mm-hmm. wajua leo nitakuuliza mm. matajiri wa Kenya wengi walio mabosi wa wajua wewe uko na opportunity sababu wewe uko kwenye media mm-hmm. but do normal Kenyans know the businesses they do no no it is not their obligation lakini Kenya yetu tumezoea na tuko na culture ya kwamba ikiwa ni mtoto kama Steve Mboga ambaye ametoka familia ya kimaskini kunakuwa na shutma kila mtu anataka kujua ama anafanya kitu kibaya ama hivi sababu i don't have the parents name sina ile jina atasema ati babangu alikuwa flani flani nilipata umeona lakini Steve sasa ndio tunataka kuja umekuwa umejileta mwenyewe kwa sababu gani watu wamekuwa kisema tu ni kibao Steve anafanya mambo ya madawa kulevya Steve I know that the habu a gush. Mm-hmm. Steve mm-hmm. oh human trafficking. Steve <laughs> bonge la kon. Mbona watu wanasema hivyo? Why is that? Na ndio na ndio nimekueleza. Mm. Wajua watu wenye akili pungufu hawezi kuimagine eti wewe ambaye umetoka familia ya kimaskini mwenye pesa. Kijana wa bondeni huko. Umeelewa? Okay. Sasa kuna hiyo negativity ambayo iko sana katika society. Na ha, aswa si hata watu wa mitaani, watu wengi hata wale wamesoma. Yaani wana hiyo mentality ya kwamba huyu mtu lazima anafanya kitu kibaya. Mimi leo hii Steve Ngogo, hata siku hata moja nimesikia nimeenda kotini nimepatikana na cash power yote nimefanya makosa. Sababu serikali wana intelligence, wana nini? Wanajua zile shughuli twafanya. Ukisema mambo ya minerals, mimi I'm licensed. I have three mines in Dodoma. I have invested in two big mines in South Kivu zangu mwenyewe. Lakini si kazi yangu nije nikutangazie ni kuambia mimi nachimba almasi, nachimba dhahabu, nachimba hii ndugu yangu. Tukisema ni biashara, biashara zote nazofanya. Serikali watu wanajua, wale wanajua. Na si kazi yangu nije kila siku ni defend. Why should we defend? Unajua mamangu alinambia kitu ikiwa mdogo. Mm. Akaniambia you can never argue with a fool. Sababu kile ameamini kuitoa kwa kichwa yake ni hiyo hiyo ndio dhana na itoki na itoki lakini nataka niwaambie kwamba mm-hmm. wa follow historia leo hii tunapaka marais ukimwangalia rais yule wa Madagascar alikuwa DJ kama DJ tena anaitwa Rejanelo nani yule ampata dawa ya corona yes, yes, yes. he was a DJ like you yes. but he had a dream yes. leo tukimwangalia historia mtu kama Balesconi Balesconi alikuwa anacheza ile he was a guitarist kwa cruise ship Roja yani, Mila alikuwa anacheza yeah, mpira. Roja Mila alikuwa anacheza mpira hata Afrika tunaye huyu wa Liberia. Anaitwa nani huyu? Said ni rais George. George George actually yeah, George yeah, yeah, yeah. a footballer. Yes. So Today is a president. So Steve kweka vitu wazi ni kwamba mm-hmm. wewe hiyo story yote madawa, adabu gushi vitu kama hivyo hazipo kabisa. Na kama kuna mtu akona proof ajitokeze. Na mara mingi mali yote ninaenda nikauliza swali, nimewajibu vizuri sana. Mm-hmm. Nimefanya biashara 
have invested heavily katika biashara ya commodity trading ninafanya mining ninafanya real estate development na sasa hizi nimeingia sana katika agriculture nafanya export za avocado nimeingia passion fruit na tunaenda mbali sana sasa hivi kuna watu ambao wanakusikiliza vijana wengi ikiwemo hata hapa ndani ya studio ambao wanasema jamani pia uangalau nataka kuwa kama Steve nataka kuangalau na na, na watch yangu ya milioni 5 au makumi kwa niko nini unaombeaje na no fupi tu waelezi uh, kuna kuna philosopher mmoja alisema mm. a human being is a product of his or her imagination mm-hmm. and whatever you think you become yani chochote utataka maishani Mwenyezi Mungu atakupa nataka nikwambie Chris mm. leo mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amebariki hamna kitu mnamuomba Mungu ananiuma unataka kuwa mbunge bro Mungu anakunyima hiyo hakunyima hey. riziki haikatazwi hai ila inaweza cheleweshwa mm. walituibia kutucheleweshea lakini hawajanyang'anya riziki yangu kwa hivyo bado wewe unarudi kwa siasa. Tena kwa mpigo. <laughs> Unataka kwa nini? Pale pale hawa. Pale pale stare. Mnajua kilichotendeka? Eh. Hey. Kuna vifaranga viliwekwa vya kompyuta, watu wa 54% hawajua. <laughs> okay. Eh na mimi wajua mimi si mtu wa kuchukiza. Mm-hmm. Eh mheshimiwa Jagwa ni ndugu yangu, rafiki yangu. Ila masuala ya uongozi hiyo hawezi. Usanii na mkubali tena sana. <laughs> wewe waweza. Tena sana. Mimi nimekuwa kiongozi don't forget I've been the patron of Kenya University Students Organization for the last 4 uh, years mm-hmm. nimekuwa naongoza university zote Kenya nzima na hakuna mtu ambaye amelalamika nimekuwa nafanya uongozi bora tumetetea wanafunzi masuala ya health tumetetea wanafunzi mambo ya kukandamizwa nimekuwa katika frontline kutafutia wanafunzi makazi na hata attachments mm-hmm. na hizi vitu tuwafanya chini ya maji si lazima tutangaze Chris wajua si tunajua shida kweli kwa hivyo mimi madhumuni yangu ninaposaidia mtu si eti nisaidie ndio nisifiwe ama nini haijalishi Steve maisha yako mm-hmm. are there guys who badilisha maisha yako sababu wewe maisha yako bro kwenye umetoka kule chini mm-hmm. nilikuwa nilitumia ujumbe mm-hmm. na watu wanasema kwamba every time you go to Kitale lazima uende kule chini bonde ni lazima watu boda boda lazima ukete chini nao lazima are there people ambao umewatoka huko chini Kitale hivi sasa maisha yao unasema okay mimi niko sawa nashukuru hata hapa hapa Nairobi wengi sana wewe ukiwa mtu wa Kitale <laughs> utaagree kwamba hii generation yetu mm-hmm. tunaenda mbali na katika hiyo age group yetu uh-huh. sisi wote ni marafiki uh-huh. mara nyingi tunakutana Chris watu wa Kitale nini cool. hatusahau kule tumetoka and you can see a change in the last 4 5 years utaona ya kwamba generation inayotoka ya vijana wetu ni different mindset people are ready watu wana take off yani tushaa taxi ndege iko kwa taxi sasa hii tunaenua ile na tunaenda bro na ukiona watu wanaanguka kama vile uliona mlamu unamrudisha ulisikia uliona aliposema ati ana 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 muulize mlamua anatoka kitale yes sija meet in person lakini tuongea kwenye social media na simu nilipoona eti anasema anaacha i was the first person to comment na nikampigia simu nikamwambia acha upuzi wewe ati unaacha kalia sababu mtu anakutusi hebu jiulize chris nini mimi sijatukana <laughs> na family yangu na watoto wangu na wake wangu na kila kitu nini sijaambiwa lakini wako. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Uh, dini inaruhusu, haina shida, dini inaruhusu. Yaani unataka tumalizie Steve. Nataka tumalizie kwa sababu muda haupo. Ndio. Bro, na, uko na kimbele mbele mingi sana. Mm-hmm. Niulize kwa nini? Kwa nini kijana? Wewe unaona pale resources zinapigwa. Mm-hmm. Wewe sijui kama umeenda training, unaona kama umeenda... zile resources. Na mimi huyu unaenda hapo. Umeenda training ya KDF? Mimi nimetrain Unachukua bunduki yako unaenda pale kupigana risasi kule. Yes. Haujipendi si sio? Sasa acha nikuulize swali. Mm. Nikuulize swali nzuri sana. Mm. Unafikiri kuna mtu yeyote timamu mm-hmm. ambaye hajajitolea anaweza enda mahali pale? Hamna mtu timamu. Hamna mtu timamu si kweli? Kwanza nilikuwa nafikiria watu unajua naambia tokeni huko tai. Lazima ni mtu ame sacrifice. Nataka nikukumbushe Chris. Mm-hmm. Mimi nilikuwa victim katika ile wet gate attack. Are you serious? Kuna yule jamaa moja ukiangalia zile documentary kuna jamaa moja ambaye saa hizi actually ndio PA wa governor wa Nairobi. Mhm. Aitwa Ben Mulwa. Ukimuuliza Mulwa, mm-hmm. fujo ilipoanza Mulwa alikuwa kwa gari yangu. Mulwa alipigwa risasi. Mimi I jumped two floors down from the rooftop till down. Okay, and, I vowed, and I vowed and I said mm. wakati wote kuna mkenya atakuwa amefungiwa pale ama ako katika ile cross line mm-hmm. nitaingia nijaribu kusaidia let me tell you mm-hmm. angalia mfano katika hata west gate attack mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Kama haungekuwa na raia ambao wameruhusiwa kubeba bunduki, wale watu wangefanya ma- ma- madhara makubwa sana. Ndio ndio bunduki kubwa uko na leseni. Eh, tuna leseni. Hata mimi best. mimi na leseni kwa zaidi ya miaka mikumi sasa. Lakini kuna siku hata moja ushasikia Steve Mbogo ametoa bunduki. Sasa mbona iwe tu discussion ni Steve Mbogo? Pale ndani tulipokuwa dusi, tulikuwa more than 40 civilians walio na bunduki. Lakini najua napendwa ni bana. Yako ilikuwa kubwa. Yako ilikuwa kubwa. Yako ilikuwa kubwa zaidi. Yako ilikuwa kubwa. No, kuna wengine walikuwa na kubwa sema. Sema wajua. Wacha mkwambie wajua baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Okay. Watu wanapokupenda hata wakuchukia ni sababu na nyota. Na mimi nikiwa mdogo niliambiwa ni ule mti mwenye matunda peke yake ndio urushia mawe. Au utaona watu wanarushia mti ambaye ina matunda mawe. Nataka nikuambie mm. I personally pale katika uh, dusi tatani nilitoa watu wengi sana pale ndani. Nataka nikuambie I personally mimi sababu wenye ile hoteli na ile property ni rafiki zangu na tunafanya biashara. Mimi ndo nilitafuta na nikaletea mpaka polisi wa Kenya zile map za kule ndani. Mimi nilitoka pale saa kumi asubuhi wakati wale watu waliwao. Si eti kwa sababu natamani ama napenda, ni na familia na watoto na ma, ni na responsibilities. But let me tell you, when someone is stuck in there and he knows there's a brother out there okay. who's trying to help us come out. Hamna kitu kizuri kama hiyo maisha. Steve sina muda lakini nataka nimalizie na maswali mawili. Nataka tumalizie haraka haraka. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ni mpango mzima studio. I was trying to to, yes. to inspire guys out there. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um Kuna kitu ulisema kwamba ulimwambia mama yako mama mm-hmm. itakutoa hapa. Tena sana. Sasa sasa hivi mama ametoka pale. Ametoka na anaenda mbali sana. Yuko wapi mama sasa hivi? Kwa sasa nimjengea kule mini jirange, jirani ya yule uko nasikia alikuwa former MP wa Lugari inaitwa Jirongo. Jirongo. my immediate neighbor. Mama na sasa pang... hivi mama ndio yule vile jelda tunawaita mkasa. Mkasa kule kitale. E, mama kwa pale. Mama yuko so pale. Kijana wake anafanya farming. Na kuna projects mingi sana ambazo bado tunafanya sababu yule ndio confident wangu. Kwaje okay. mother alitotoa mbali ali sacrifice swali la pili. Umesema kwamba whatever you want mm-hmm. iangalie na utaia chini. Yeah. What do you want right now? For me in your life right now in the next 5 years unajiona wapi or 10 years or 20 years where do you see yourself? I'm going to be the president of this country in the future. It's being recorded so you remember when you camera you said you want to be the president. I'm going to be the president of this country. You know why? Why? I believe. And you know why? Why? I love this country. And that's why I went to do so. And that's why nataka kufanya research yako I even served in media once. About uh, 5 years ago. Just 3 months before Garissa University was attacked. Uh-huh. I did a very compre- a very exclusive comprehensive, uh, comprehensive and exclusive uh, report and a media briefing kuhusu protecting our schools before it's too late. Watu wasi tunasoma sana, tuna understand. Nikafanya story nzuri nikasema bwana polisi tuache kuweka attention. Sasa tumeshinda tunachunga police station, tunachunga bus station, tunachunga sijui watu wengine lakini tumesahau 